Well, that didn't work how I thought it would. Woohoo! Oh, wow. Oh, it's getting laggy. That is awesome. <laughs> Wow. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that's fun. Hello guys, this is Caleb back on the Vintage Bee fan server. Today is a very special day. I'm back from my vacation that I told no one I was going on. So yay! I went to BC and British Columbia, which is on the other side of Canada, and it was very nice and quiet and beautiful. But I recorded an episode before I went to BC. And no, I haven't. And that never, episode never got out because I couldn't finish it in time. So here it is. Yay! Uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, basically, something happens at the end of this episode that I made. And I was very excited about it because it improved upon my hero Ethos design. And then I come back and watch through those videos and he's already made it. So now it looks like I'm copying him. But I swear I didn't. I made it first. Uh, also in this episode, you may be seeing I'm using default. But it's not quite default. Uh, I'm going to be using an edited version that I have edited with my fancy pantsy Photoshop skills. Uh, so... You will see that the glass is has that crappy diagonal thing in it. I took out that. And also bricks. Uh, right now they are seven pixels long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I don't like that. I want them to be 14 pixels long. So two bricks become one. And it will look very, very nice. So I'll show you guys that just after the cut. And there we are. Ooh, it looks so good. So basically, if you can't tell, what I changed is that normally bricks are 7 pixels long. And I made them 14 pixels long, so twice as long. To me, they look really, really good. I like them a lot. Very much in the style of Frank Lloyd Wright. So, uh, yeah, I think they look great. And I'm happy to be using default. There's still a couple changes I want to make though. I'd like to make the the uh, water bluer, but I'm struggling with that. And I want to completely redo the glowstone texture because it looks pretty crappy as it is. So, to get started, as I said, I want to start building my storage room because that's something that I haven't done yet. And I really want to do this. And this is my main storage room. So I have a little bit of a plan, nothing concrete. I want to build it out of brick, for one, obviously, and cobble, mostly, and then more wood on the inside because of the chests. Uh, so right now I'm just going like this, and the ground comes off right here. So that's of a little bit concern. Let me grab... This is one of my silk touch shovels, by the way. Let me grab a couple... pieces of dirt. There you go. Is that a little bit loud? Yeah. Uh, so I want... Got too much stuff. 
this to come more like that. That looks better. And then continue this pattern of glowstone brick. Glowstone brick. And then in here, behind these bricks, are going to be cobble sort of pillars or indents. Uh, sort of like this. Just like that for now. And then, see, let me see here. Make a couple stairs. Uh, let's make a bunch of them. Uh, how many can I make? Seven. And some more. There we go. Throw those down. Threw them on the ground! I don't need your... stairs. <laughs> oh, I hope that song isn't copyrighted. So this is going to be indented slightly. Just like this. Stair right there. And then I'm going to do the horribly cliched thing. Or at least I've heard it's horribly cliched. I've only seen like one or people actually do it. Yeah, one or two people actually do this. Put some fences right there. And then the signs for what's going to be on the... The, uh... Chests are going to be on the fences. So yeah, let's make a double chest. I need it. I got too much stuff. And I can't make a double chest. Uh, make another one. Two, one, 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 two. One, two. There we go. Don't have enough space. Uh, put it right here. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat's been a little dry today. So. Let's get up here. Put some more... Fence post action on here. I really like fence posts for decoration. They look nice. A nice thin block compared to everything else, and I fell down. So let's also put block up there. Okay. And this is just going to be the exterior wall, so nothing horribly fancy. Uh, on top of this, I believe we're going to put brick stairs, and then some stone half slabs. Let's get four going. There we go. Hey guys, as usual, feedback is much appreciated for this. Because I have no idea what I'm doing half the time. I wonder if I can hit this right. Let's try that one more time. Sweet! Okay, so get some stairs right here. Whoa, almost fell. And uh, some other news, I guess channel news, is that I have Twitter now. I've had it for a little while, a week or so, but it's related to the channel, not my personal Twitter. Uh, so that's good. Talking with uh, Just Van or Van Ryder, who's on the server. Uh, hopefully, you know him because he's an awesome guy. And Kurt Hendrick. And we're thinking about doing a map together, which I'm very excited about. Uh, we're thinking of doing the Walls 2, or I forget what it was called Psycho or something, maybe? I'm not sure. But, uh, Kirk Hendrick is the guy who does all the Minecraft 
parody songs of the Beatles, like Imagine If No One Asked To Be On Minecraft and other great hits such as those. So, uh, yeah, that guy's awesome and really excited to do something with them. Uh, so yeah, Twitter and hopefully something with those two guys. Now let's see. Did I place those wrong? No, I didn't. I want chest to be like this. And the floor is going to be too above me. I dug it out too much. This is, this is looking okay. I like how you have a hint of the chest right here. You can't open them up. And then there's going to be the signs. I think this one will be a cobble, so it'll say cobble, cobble. If I can spell it right. Two, three. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's been done tons of times before, but I think it looks good. And I like how it only attaches to these two blocks. It, it looks nice when you look at it from the side. Uh, so this is looking cool. I guess uh, this is another thing that I had planned out. Actually, I don't need one of those. Give me some of these. There we go. Because you always have to have workbenches really, really close to you in your storage room. So I want to put them right there. So when you're on the floor, uh, let's build a fake floor for a second. There we go. You can just access them like this. And, ooh, I was wondering if the sign will somehow impede. No, there I hit the... Hmm, I'll have to think about that location for the workbenches. So yeah, it's basically repeated for now, so I'm going to move this on up a little bit and show you what I got in a few. See you then. Oh, I hate the rain. And I'm back, and I worked on some of this. And it's looking pretty decent, I think. Uh, do I have? Yes, I do. I just put in a temporary cobble floor for the meantime, but I like the sides. I think they do a good job of hiding the cobble. Got some glowstone under the chests. And yeah, the the crafting tables are a little bit difficult to get to, but I think I have a solution to that. Because I heard that this was in 1.3, or this feature is in 1.3, but I'm not sure. Uh, just put some stairs like this. And then I should be able to click through them. Perfect. Yeah, so this cobble floor is temporary, but I like that a lot. That looks cool. And it brings them out more, makes them more noticeable a little bit. Uh, so I like that. I'm liking it. I'm sort of doing the body of this structure first. And then I'll do the... Uh, front and back later. Also for the back, I sort of want, I was thinking about it, and I want there to be sort of an alchemy lab water area to get infinite sources from in a furnace area. I think that that'll be cool. Uh, just all tucked there in the back, and that is not how you make sticks. <laughs> Uh, so let's get a bunch of sticks here, some more wood. Let's get these going. And there. Oops. Oh, my inventory's full. <laughs> I hate working on projects like this. But yeah, I like these stairs. That's cool. Okay, um... I do need sticks again. So let's make a bunch. Have them like this. Nope, not like that. 
and that only makes 32 fence gates. That's a ripoff. Oh well, can't do anything about it. Okay, so for above, where am I? Let's make a crafting table. There we go. There we go. Let's end a pearl up there. It's looking good. Oh, also, uh, for the chest on top, there's a stair block right there. And so right there. And another stair block on the outside, this second stair. So, uh, they'll be able to open fine. Or they are able to open fine. Man, I hate this rain. Um, and I sort of want there to be something like this. Let me just build this. This is too high, so that's one high. These are sort of for windows where you can peep in. So that window's one high. These ones are too high. Too high. Okay, enough with the horrible, awful jokes. Uh, let's make some... Put that there. Some stairs. Oh wait, stairs? Do I need stairs? I don't know, might as well make them. And some... Of those guys. So we're gonna make those out of half slabs. And now it's raining and it's night. The two worst things in Minecraft. <laughs> There we go. Uh, yeah. That's it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put these here. Dang it! <laughs> Where are my enderpearls when I need them? So these are sort of going to be like shutters. Let's move this up for now. And that's the wrong way. Oh. There we go. And there we go. Should do it. I kind of like that actually. Oh, yes! Stopped raining. Look at the stars, they're beautiful. I actually kind of like that. It looks good, I think. Sort of one tall, two tall, one tall, two tall. Let's see what it looks like from the inside. Hmm, it's a bit flat from the inside. Maybe if I put. I gotta move my bar. The stair no. Come on, get it. No Oh I hate this. Maybe if I put a stair right there and then there. And I missed. Crap. There we go. This takes lots of skill. Yeah, I kind of like that better. And then have arches going across to this side. That looks decent. Stupid inventory full. Crap. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. Dang it! Oh, now I'm not going to be able to take it down. <laughs> Snow! Gimme. And boop. There we go. Hmm. Oh, and by the way, for those of you who don't know, there's a zombie spawner directly under here, but 
I'm never going to use it, so I'll probably take this down. This is a secret door I designed. Yay! So I still want to do the front, and I'm not sure... Because there's a level difference between this floor and over here. So I'm going to have to make it go down a block somewhere. And I want to decide where that is. Because I want it... There's going to be a link in here that'll lead to a 3x3 three three door right here. And then it'll also lead into this not finished building and into here. And for the front, not sure what I want. I know I want a 3x3 three three door in the middle, but uh, I'll figure something out. Just you wait. Okay guys, so I added a bit to the door. Oh, freezer left. Oh well. Uh, I added a door. Did I say that? Oh well, I added a door. Yay! An ethos so Whoa, I just hiccuped. <laughs> this take is not going well. Uh, but I added an ethos style door. Uh, it's really quick. It's one or two ticks till it opens. Probably one. And uh, so quick that I can run over these pressure plates walk over this block and not get through because it pops up so fast. There we go. So yeah, it's really, really quick as you can see. I like it. Looks good while opening and closing. Black deliciousness. Eww. Uh, looks really good. And I like. I'll show you how I did it. Aw, oh, dang it. Uh, so basically we go under here and under these blocks. The pressure plates are right up here. Powers this redstone which goes into this uh, supercharged T flip-flop. Goes really quick. I think it's one tick. I'm not sure. It might, it might be zero ticks when it flips because it's pretty quick. But uh, that goes up to these two repeaters. This is the one tick. And then into these pistons goes up the instant glowstone towers. And oh, I always jump on there. <laughs> it's really annoying. And up these glowstone towers. And then into these pistons. So pretty simple. Really simple. And it works super well. And I just have it hooked up so that these four corner blocks get retracted four ticks after the middle blocks do. So I like it. I like it a lot. I tried to make one with sort of torch towers, but that was really hard to time uh, correctly. So I just made it like that. And I like it. I also, going back in here, Put some furnaces down here. Not sure how I like that. It's okay. Uh, I want to make it so that I know when they're activated. That's a lot of numbers and letters. Maybe if I put like a staircase <laughs> right here too. Like that. I'll be able to... Dang it. See, no, because I need something to smelt. Uh, there's some stuff. Just want to see this. No, I can't see the. Oh, I can see the flames or the smoke. Excuse me, I got a cough. Okay, that was a nice cough. <laughs> Uh, I can see sort of the smoke rising through it, but yeah, I thought that animation might be on the top, too. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do a bud switch thingy. Oh, let me grab one of these. I also started making what I'm dubbing the 
alchemy section. I almost said the alcohol section. That would be nice, too. Uh, wouldn't that be fun, drunk Minecraft? Aw, uh, I dream of a day. <laughs> uh, but, so alchemy. I wanted this whole complex to be storage, furnaces, alchemy, and then the other thing that I wanted is an infinite water source. So, you press this button and it appears. Yay! It's just right in here. I made it four or th four blocks all around instead of just one block here and one block here so that I can right click away. I find that if there is just two blocks feeding it then it can be slow when you're filling it. A little bit slower anyway. But uh... Still has the same trade-up. Nice. Uh, and what's cool about this is that you press the button and they both open. Press the button and they both close. Both open, both close. I'll just show you how I did it quickly. So the buttons up here goes to this redstone line and this redstone line goes through this tunnel over here. Uh, to the exact same setup on the other side. Uh, hits this repeater, turns it off, which switches this supercharged T flip-flop. And then goes into this repeater, which lowers the block that has the water in it. Pretty simple. Whoa, I'm inside a block! This is cool. Woohoo! <laughs> nice. Uh, so really quick. I like it. I like it a lot. Just about to finish off today and I thought I'd visit here. This is Casey King in Punching Blocks old house, but they never visit anymore. This is actually the first place I went to when I came on the server, so it's very nostalgic. But I thought I'd show you guys what I've been building ever since 1.3 came out, or just today. <laughs> Uh, this is my ice tray. All full right now. Really nice. Different design than Ethos. What I did is that I saw the design, or I built the design of the reed farm, and was like, hey, that would work for an ice farm too. Because in case you didn't know, uh, ice grows way faster when it's beside a block. So every ice block here is beside a block. It's the maximum amount of ice beside the maximum amount of blocks, or minimum amount of blocks. So it works really well. Uses pistons to redo it. Let me just use this lever. Take those down. That redstone took forever. Not too fun. And yeah, then you just go to town on the ice. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's about it. That is so much fun. I love doing that. It's just like you get caught up in it. So uh, that's it for this time. I'll see you guys next time.